So if I haven't said good morning yet, good morning yet. Just look and see if they have a garbage can here before I start heading south. Um, we're off to Cavendish, home of Anna Green Gables. We got out to stretch our legs and I stumbled across this. I'm unsure of my beautiful subs out there. If you guys know about Anne of Green Gables, she was a little redhead kid, I think around the 20s or something. Let's go find out. So actually, this is the home of Lucy Maud Montgomery, her birthplace. Uh, she's the author of Anne of Green Gables, which is a 1908 uh, novel written by her. Um, yeah, it's about a little 11-year-old girl named Anne Shirley who was um, adopted out to come and uh, work on a farm um, in Avonlea, Prince Edward Island. Well, uh, we can go in and tour it. It's five bucks, but I think that's the neighbor's house. <laughs> Okay, so much for the history lesson. We're back on the road. Where Cavendish is like, I think, 10 minutes away, something like that. Come on. But I thought it was something interesting you guys might want to see, so we stopped. Moving on. My hat's off to uh, PEI and their um, roundabouts. Have them everywhere. Hassle free highway stuff. There we go. We're in the Cavendish. Uh, by the way, that was a real small one. They're usually fairly big, but we're heading into Cavendish. God, I hope this works. <clears throat> Driving down the road, out the corner of my eye, I see this. That's right, it's the space shuttle. At first I was looking at that going, is that a swimming tool, pool? Is, is that a motel? And then I was like, what the? And sure enough, there's an old space shuttle. Way up there where I pulled over, there's some games. Uh, I think I was like, Tyrannosaurus Rex. It's a little amusement center. Sadly, though, these signs are posted all over the place, so we're not going to be able to go in. But hey, we looked at it. <laughs> so y'all know how much I dislike um, touristy spots. <laughs> Wait till you see this, but I pulled over. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Yeah, that's right. 15 years ago, I stayed at the campsite up here. And this wasn't here, so I thought I'd just take a boo around, we'll take a quick walk, and we'll go find a beach. And me and the boys started to make our little walk. I spotted a laundromat. So I'm gonna kill two birds with one stone. I'm gonna put my laundry in, and then we're gonna go for a walk. Give you guys a tour. Okay, so we got them all loaded up. I'm gonna go grab the dog, put this back in the van. Okay, bud, let's go. Uh-oh, the attack dog's freaking out. I better get going. What do you see? Oh my God, you better get him. So they have everything from like tattoos to kites, a grocery store, 
I don't know what this is. Express something. Anyways, expressions. Ah. Oh my god, they have an arcade. How archaic is that? Yeah, it's good stuff. Neat stuff. Check out the Cavendish Boardwalk. What do you think of that shirt? I think I might go and see if they have one. <laughs> it's definitely a beautiful day today, so I'm gonna sit down and have a bite deep. We got uh, 40 minutes to kill. And the dude is gonna enjoy the shade. Come on, buddy. We finally found a uh, car wash that would fit the bus. It's amazing how uh, the red clay <laughs> sticks to everything. Like, oh, it's just pouring off. You didn't really see it, but yeah, we got it cleaned up. So across the street here is the Avonlea Village. Eight great eateries. <laughs> we don't need to eat. We need to shop though. So let's say uh, thank you to Lone Oak Breweries. We met some cool people here, a couple from uh, California. And uh, one of the, uh, I don't know if he's an owner or not, but he sure was helpful. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. We're off to New Brunswick. We're gonna cross the bridge. Are you guys ready for this? Hey, dude, are you ready for this? <laughs> Dang! It does look like a beautiful night for a drive. We're heading to the bridge. I wonder how much it's going to cost for me to get off the island. So, the whole idea is you can jump on a ferry to come here or you can drive across the bridge. It's free. Self pay, self pay. I'm gonna go this guy, because I've never done here before. Hi! I've never done this before, so I figured I better come and see you. Alright. So, how many kilometers? 12.9. Okay, sweet dear, thank you. Oh, no, I don't need that. Thank you. You know, I love my life. We uh, made a wrong turn. So we're sitting here at the exit to go back to PEI. But there's a Volkswagen van over here. Let me show you. So uh, honestly, folks, would you rather be driving in this Volkswagen or... This is the uh, Volkswagens, uh, the European Volkswagens are pumping out over in uh, uh, Europe. I'll take mine, thanks. That 
that's right. They're from Germany. And they just finished touring um, Prince Edward Island. I thought they were going there, but no, they're heading to Newfoundland. Anyways, I get to meet people like that because uh, I'm that kind of a guy. <laughs> we're heading north. So, welcome to New Brunswick. <laughs> spot to pull over and find out where I'm going with Google Maps is these places. Oh well, I got to refresh my face and stuff like that, but we're in uh, North Eastern New Brunswick. I think I'd call this uh, beach country. <laughs> That's gorgeous, eh? I believe it's uh, Kavok. I'm not sure. <laughs> so I showed up to the visitor information booth here and wherever. Uh, yeah, I can't pronounce it at this moment. <laughs> but anyways, it looked all empty and stuff. And I figured it out. Have you ever seen a visitor's information booth up for sale? <laughs> Neither. Nice corner lot, though, I'll tell you. Check it's it out. The entranceway. A couple nice parking spots. A couple nice little picnic stands. Hey. Okay. You get a beautiful building. That backs onto some uh, tidal land here. Good old uh, <laughs> New Brunswick. Come on, buddy, let's go. Too many mosquitoes once you start hitting the green grasses here. So we're gonna go hide out here. I shouldn't be uh, bothered as there's no signs. So yeah, let's feed this little bugger. Mm -hmm. 